Third post-game press conference of the 2017 NCAA Division II Men's Basketball Elite Eight. Following today, tonight's quarterfinal matchup between the number two seed Northwest Missouri State and number seven seed St. Thomas Aquinas. I'd like to remind everybody to please mute your cell phones or other mobile devices. And if you could please state your name and affiliation before your first question. We have with us members of the St. Thomas Aquinas Spartans. To my immediate right is head coach Tobin Anderson. He is joined by student athletes Justin Reyes and Aaron Cust. Uh, St. Thomas Aquinas made their second NCAA tournament appearance, first NCAA Elite Eight appearance, is four and two all-time in the NCAA tournament, and were champions of the East Coast Conference in the regular season and tournament championships. Coach, if you'd like to start with the opening statement. Yeah, I thought it was a great college basketball game. I thought it was a re really good basketball game from, bo from both ends. And uh, man, credit to Northwest Missouri State. I thought they were, they were very, very, very good. Um, well coached, well, well disciplined, obviously experienced team. And I was so proud of our guys. I thought, um, you know, a couple times they, they had us on the ropes and we kept, we kept fighting back. You know, we kept, they had us to, had us to eight or ten points. And we kept coming back and we get it to four and we just couldn't get over the hump. You know, we're, we're like one spurt. We're, we're, a, we're, a, we're a spurt team. We're a, a pressing team that needs like a flurry of activity. We're like one flurry away from from you know a four point deficit goes to, to a to a tie game or two and all of a sudden now they're tight and we're playing better. But I, I thought I thought um, it was a great college basketball game. You know the kid the kid Pitts. I'm like you know he had I, I thought we did a great job with him in our ball screen defense and he still had 26 points. You know it's like it's like I thought we did a really good job. He had 26 points. But um, you know I thought our guy proud of our guys. Very proud of our guys. Uh, proud of what we've accomplished. Proud proud to be here in this in this environment. And I think it's only helped us going forward. And, uh, but that's, that's down the road. I mean, just what a great group of guys and a great team. And, and I think we proved, um, we knew it, we knew we, we belonged. And, um, and I thought it was, uh, you know, obviously a great, a great game. Questions? Chris Bernal, WTV. Thanks, Chris. Uh, Tobin, um, your press, uh, the handle looked for the most part, but there was that one stretch there where in the second half. Where yeah. Yeah. If the second half press would have been the first half press, I think we'd have won the game or had a chance, had a better chance. The, the second half press, they had, they had two turnovers at halftime, and they had um, nine in the second half. So and pr part of that is if we'd have pressed the first half really hard, I thought we could have worn them down more too, you know, and got to their legs. And, like, we were, we were down a couple guys, and so it was, our depth wasn't as good as it could have been maybe. But we, um, we didn't press really. Now, part of that is you have to score. And we didn't score the first half as much. So it's, it's hard to press if you can't score. So, um, you know, we weren't, it wasn't great the first half. And I thought if our press could have been that way for 40 minutes, that was the way to beat them. You know, in the half court, they're very good. They're very good. They're bigger than us and more physical than us. And um, the game had to be kind of chaotic. And it never got chaotic the first half. But I liked the halftime. We're down by five and a half. And, like, we hadn't played that well. And we came out, and I thought we, got some, we had a couple runs. Like you said, we had, we had a couple. We just couldn't get over the hump, you know. Um, and if we would have, it would have been interesting down the stretch. If we could have got, you know, got, got into a, to a tie game or we take the lead. Now all of a sudden it's a little bit, it's a different story, you know. But cre credit to them. I mean, credit to them. And I thought they were prepared well for our press. And sometimes against press, um, big guys hurt us because they can look over the top. And I thought end now. And I thought um, number twenty did a good job. Twenty twenty is a um, the kid at Woods did a good job throwing the ball over the top for our press. You know that that big guys can hurt us sometimes. Uh, I don't know. It was just kind of just something that happened in the game. You know, uh, you try to make a play, and uh, I thought in the first half I was being a bit hesitant and, and didn't play how I played. So I tried to do that a bit more in the second half, and uh, we just did what we do. And, you know, we, we could have done better defensively, which is, I think, a big part of today. Uh, so offensively, we, we got the ball down the court, and, and we scored some points, but we couldn't get some stops down the stretch. Yeah, two pretty good players, right? Two two guys. A lot of those those uh, good Division One schools missed on, obviously, which we're we're both me and men are both happy about. Two two great players, you know. Um, and you know what's good about both guys is like, all right, um, they do it in a team setting. They do it. They do it like like I thought Pitts was really good at. He didn't force things. Like he he, he kind of let the game come to him a little bit. He was he was patient. He hit guys on cuts and it was smart. And you know, Justin was the same way. Justin Justin scored 20, 28 points on 15 shots. Like he let the game come to him a little bit. And that's what great players do. And I thought both guys really, you know, in this stage, your best players got to play really well. I thought both guys played great, you know. 
And I was like, you know, it would be nice if he missed a couple of shots. But he, he got off to a good start. He hit the two, the two threes. And I thought it was kind of like, all right, if um, – and we knew he could shoot the ball. But you got to give something up, right? So we, we, he hit a couple of shots early, and that kind of got him going a little bit, you know? Aaron, your team kept kept coming back. Northwest would, would stretch it to 10, and you guys would keep coming back. Is that uh, some of the belief in the guy, something you guys have seen from yourselves all year, just being able to rally back and not, not let that season end just yet? Yeah, definitely. Uh, coach always tells us uh, next play all the time, you know. Uh, we knew we had to try to get over the hump. You know, they're a great team. So we've been trying to battle back the whole entire game, but we just couldn't get right over that hump. But, you know, we kept fighting. That's what our team does. Uh, we have a great group of guys. Next year is going to be the same thing. So uh, I'm just looking forward to seeing what's going to happen next year. Coach, on a personal level, I understand your dad was a Northwest. What was it like to coach against where your dad went to school at? Well, I mean, first of all, just, I'm happy to, to have a chance to, to – my dad had some health problems the last couple – you know, last few months. And to come out here, my guys, I guess, the Sioux Falls. And playing in front of him was an awesome thing, you know. So very, very special to have him in the game and, and seeing and being here and – and um, he spent a lot of time there. I'm not sure he's a great student. I'm not sure he won any, any um, academic awards at, at Northwest Missouri State. So I, I don't I'm not, He wasn't a stellar student, but he, he spent a lot of time there. So, yeah, it was great, great. And, like, you know, it's awesome you know, for me to come back and play against, to play against them and for us to play against them. And, and um, you know, um, you know they're, it's, good, it's a good athletic program. It's a good thing. Their football team wins championships. Their basketball wins, wins championships. But I think, you know, it's, it's, it's great for us at St. Thomas Aquinas to, to be on this stage. You know, baseball team went to the regionals a couple years ago. It was awesome. We're here now. And now it's a matter of like trying to take the program forward and, and, and get a little bit better. Like like Aaron, you know, we're, we're gonna miss. We had two great seniors, Aaron Cust and Chaz Waller. Not only great players, but just great people. Um, I'm a better person for being around these these two guys, and uh, we're gonna miss them a lot. You know, and it's like not the points in the in the in the stats, but more just the, just how they conducted themselves as, as, as student athletes or their entire four years that we're gonna miss. And so you know, hopefully we can go forward. But we're gonna that's that's down the road. Right now it's it's it, this you know to, to think about what we did this year as, as a team, Chris. Yeah, man, it was amazing. You know, coming in our first year, we went one game over 500, and every year we progressed every time. So, you know, shout out to the coach. You know, I mean, he's a great coach. Uh, all the guys follow what he says, and as you can see, it works. Every year we get better and better. So, uh, it's just great to be a part of uh, his team. You know, he, I'm gonna miss him coaching me, honestly. But it was just, it was just a blessing for me to have him as a coach. God, it's nice to have a player say that about you when you when you go to grad. That's a, that's a pretty nice thing. So I mean, that I mean, means a lot. It means a lot, obviously, to us. So you know, and it's like, there's these guys, Chaz, and guys have been around, and Chris been around our program for a long time. Those guys, Chaz and, and Aaron, have been just incredible people, ambassadors of the program, and so we're very proud of them. And someone should hire this guy because he'll be as good as it gets. You know, <laughs> hire him and pay him a lot of money. We can build us a new gym. Any other questions? Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks Thank a lot. You. Thank you.